Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope that you are ready for some deep cleaning motivation because I've got a ton of that for you in today's video, as well as a grocery haul. Today's video is sponsored by Skillshare and I can't wait to tell you more about Skillshare in just a little bit and why I love them so much, but we are gonna unload these groceries and then we are going to do a haul, then we will get to the cleaning. So I hope that you enjoy today's video. Give it a thumbs up. Please excuse my voice. I have been sick for over a week now, so we're just powering through on this one. But stick around and subscribe for cleaning motivation every single week. If you haven't already done so, smash that red subscribe button down below. Leave me a comment with an emoji letting me know that you are here. We're gonna do a quick grocery haul. I have been sick, so I just don't really shouldn't go to the store. I don't want to go to the store. So I got some stuff that we've been needing. We have some broccoli, steam fresh broccoli, but we also have more. Yeah, are you guys? A little tiny pouch. I thought it was going to be bigger of broccoli and cauliflower. We have some mini waffles. My kids are obsessed with waffles right now. They like them with whipped cream, not syrup. We got some pancakes. Oh. I wanted the mini pancakes. I should probably learn how to read. We got baked pancakes. We have little cucumbers. These are Persian cucumbers. We have a buffalo ranch chicken salad. I do this with those just bare um, nuggets from Costco, tossed in some buffalo sauce and make a salad out of it. Shredded carrots to add into there because I love carrots. We have three bags of spinach for smoothies and salads. We have little, um, Angel sweets, tomatoes, bebe carrots for my baby girl. She's obsessed with carrots. Mushrooms for my little boy who is obsessed with mushrooms. No storm. Hummus, honey ham, sourdough bread. I should probably learn how to make my own sourdough bread, but that's kind of intimidating. So we're just gonna buy it for now. We have blueberries, blackberries, oh, I forgot strawberries. I hope you enjoyed the haul. Let me know if you guys want to see more of those over here on my channel. We are going to get to cleaning out the fridge. We're going to clean out the fridge. We're going to clean everything up, wipe it all down. But while we are doing that, I wanted to share Skillshare with you. I love Skillshare. I've worked with them many times in the past. You guys know I love it because I share it often. And um, Skillshare is awesome because it's an online learning community. You can take so many different classes for so many different things. I am taking the how to start blogging classes. There are multiple of them that I am actually going through right now because I am kind of dabbling in the idea of starting a blog. I really love writing 
more so than I love talking. So I always figured having a blog would be something fun to do. So there are classes on Skillshare on how to get started on that. I'm sure there are classes on how to get started with a YouTube channel too, if you, that is something that you are interested in. But not only do they offer classes such as those, they offer classes for so many different things. If you are into plants, if you are into art, there are classes for you. If you're into cooking, decluttering, self-improvement, there are just so many different options. And the first 1,000 people to click the link down below in my description box will get a one month free. So go and check out Skillshare. Click that link down below to get your month for free. It is such an amazing online learning platform. I absolutely love it. And if you guys have seen my other Skillshare videos or seen any of my other videos, you know how much I love it. So go click the link down below and get that month for free. The first 1000 people to click that link will get that first month for free. So we are going to wipe down the fridge. I wish that I actually moved this fast when I'm cleaning stuff out, but you know, that's not real life. That's not realistic, but I'm using some thieves cleaner to wipe everything down and just really clean it up in here. I like thieves because it's a natural cleaner. So we're gonna wipe all the shelves and drawers down. We are going to hand wash the drawers because there were some nasty old soupy vegetables in the bottom of those. And I apologize for my voice. I can hear it going out myself. So bear with me. The main part of the fridge has been wiped down the drawers have been cleaned so we're going to restock that portion of the fridge then we are, excuse me going to move on to wiping down the little shelves over here i need to also clean the deli and snack drawer and i also need to clean the freezer so i hope you're in need of a deep cleaning fridge deep cleaning motivation because if my fridge needed it and we are getting it done today so i hope you are enjoying this It's hard for me to tell you how I feel I'm afraid to show you it's underneath Cause I don't wanna let you down Got a lot of demons up in my brain Got a lot of bad thoughts giving me pain I'm afraid to show you it's underneath Cause I don't wanna let you down Let you down Thank you. 
You're like a circle that floats around me, keeping me safe and sound. And when I fall, you've tied a rope to me. You're blessing me every day. I was down with an illusion, like a sparrow with broken wings. But now I shine with your reflection on me. Now that we've gotten most of the fridge put back together, or well, the main shelves of the fridge, the interior of the fridge, we are going to finish up wiping down the shelves. This milk area always needs to be wiped down the most. I don't know how it gets so messy, but it does. So I'm gonna wipe it down. I was using Thieves Cleaner, but then I had to go in with my dish rag because it had a little bit more scrubbing power and some Dawn dish soap to really get that stuff off there. Sometimes my kids, mostly my six-year-old, likes to try to get his own milk, and I feel like maybe that's why it's a little sloppy, a little messy, or maybe it's just me. I don't even know. I don't even know, but this little shelf gets so dirty so easily. So we're going to scrub this one, and then we're just going to kind of organize the other ones, wipe down what needs to be wiped down. Nothing too crazy. The main area that really needs some more organization and decluttering is the lower freezer drawer. Oh my goodness, it's a hot mess. I don't even know what's in the freezer drawer. And I was honestly shocked when I opened it up and saw so many different like waffles and old french fries in the bottom of the drawer and coffee grounds. Like it was just disgusting. Almost as disgusting as my voice right now. My goodness. Oh my goodness. I need to get better so I can finish a voiceover. <laughs> While we let some thieves sit on some sticky crud that was in the drawer, we are going to start working on the freezer. And we work smarter, not harder over here. I'm going to use the vacuum to vacuum up all the crumbs that I can in here before going in and wiping everything out. This is just the easiest way. Yes, I know it's the vacuum in the freezer drawer, but we're going to spray it down and clean it up. I'm not too worried about it, but I love the Shark Rocket vacuum because you can take it off just like so and use just the upper part of the vacuum to vacuum out small spaces like this freezer drawer. So we're going to reload everything. We're going to get rid of things in sections. I went through the top drawer first. And then we're just going to put all the stuff back that we are wanting to keep. And then we are just going to be doing the same process in the bottom drawer, going through and getting rid of stuff that we do not need or stuff that is super, super old. There's some stuff that was really, really buried in the bottom of the drawers. It was kind of ridiculous. Or stuff that was empty. And I'm just like, how and why? Why is this stuff in the freezer just taking up so much space? So we are going to clean it all out and then we are going to do the same thing vacuum it out and wipe it out I want to lay in my bag every month that's in my head
But what's the reason it hurts so bad? I wanna lay in my bed, clean from all that's in my head. I wanna try something new, live another point of view. are a little bit more put together and now we're gonna throw away all the trash get rid of everything that we are not keeping because there is a bunch of stuff that needs to be tossed out stuff that is old some molded cheese you know just all the things empty boxes like popsicle boxes and all that jazz we're gonna recycle the boxes we're gonna throw the trash out and I wanted to share this hack with you take your cilantro bunch put it in a cup of filtered water and put it in your fridge you may want to put a little baggie over it or the produce bag that you brought it home in over it so it doesn't get super dried out but that is a way to make your cilantro last for a very very long time and it is such a nice hack so i wanted to share that with you guys my mother-in-law taught me that actually so thank you to donna for teaching me that because it makes the cilantro last way longer so now that we're done with the refrigerator on the inside we are going to clean up the kitchen and then we are going to clean up the outside of the refrigerator because there's fingerprints all over that baby I am going to be using the Wyman stainless steel cleaner and polish on my refrigerator today. This stuff is amazing. It is my favorite stainless steel cleaning product. If you've been here for a while watching these videos, then you know. You know. Then you know. If you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know? How many times did I just say you know? Um, excuse my husband cracking open his bubbly water in the background. How rude but we are going to wipe down the refrigerator get all the fingerprints and yuckies off of it and get it all nice and clean Another trick for you, vinegar on a paper towel on those calcium deposits from your water drips anywhere, whether it's your faucet or your fridge like mine, because the Samsung fridge has issues with that apparently. I'm going to put the vinegar on the paper towel, let that soak, vacuum up this kitchen area, get all the crumbs and yuckies off of the floor. I think I've said yuckies way too many times in this video, my apologies, but you know, the sickness... <sighs> We're just gonna blame it on that brain fart. I don't know. We're gonna vacuum. And I'm using the Shark Rocket vacuum. So we're gonna get all the crumbs off of the floor. I wanna call your phone, tell you what you did wrong, then ask it to come over. Not very good with decisions, know what's right, but I don't. Here is a before, before we get to the after. The fridge wasn't the worst fridge ever, but it definitely needed to be cleaned out and there was a lot of nasty old stuff in here. So ta-ta, here is the after. 
everything is all nice and cleaned up we have the essentials for eating until i can get back to the store but everything is nice and organized and looking so much better and there's not random crumbs or particles from oh my gosh i almost said poultry but i meant produce there's not particles from the produce all over the place so we're thriving we can see what we have now we got food to get us by until the sickness leaves my body but i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video do not forget to check out Skillshare. The first 1,000 people to click the link down below will get a month for free. So check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you have a super wonderful day. And I am just so thankful to have you all here. I will catch you in the next video here on my channel.